Welcome to H2K Infosys. H2K Infosys is a e-verify business based in Atlanta, Georgia, United States. We provide 100% job-oriented, instructor-led, face-to-face, true live online software training programs. It also includes access to Cloud Test Lab with software tools. We provide live project for you to work on. We also provide assistance with mock interviews, resume preparation and review, and job placement assistance. H2K Infosys is trusted by so many students across the world. H2K Infosys provides world-class services in IT training with real-time project work for corporates and individuals, special IT training for MS students in the United States, software design development, QA manual and automation, performance testing and maintenance, IT staff augmentation, job placement assistance and tech support. All right. First, let's try to understand what is the meaning of this checkpoint. Okay. So checkpoints are basically nothing but they are the checks that we put on the values of the property. We discussed that all the objects are having certain properties. Okay. The objects have properties. And then the properties are having certain values. Okay. So we have the objects and objects have the properties. Properties have the values. So now if we want to check the values of the properties of the object, we use the checkpoint. Let me give you an example for this. I'll open my board. So if you consider the fly from, okay, if you consider the fly from, it has the different sets of values, right? There are different options over here. And how many options are there? Who is going to decide it? It will be given to you by the client, okay? And these number of options are created by the developer so the developer has created and then the client has given this requirement okay now the question is how many options are over here okay I mean how many different cities are over here you got to test as a tester and when you do the testing on this okay you will be referring to the client requirement if the client has said that there should be 20 you should check whether there are 20 or not if the client has said there should be 10, then you should check whether there are 10 cities or not. Okay. This is what you got to check. And how do you check whether there are 10 cities that are appearing or not? It is using the checkpoint. There is a property called as item count on this fly from and then which will give you the number of items that are present in the list. So we can put the checkpoint to check whether we have that many numbers of items or not. Okay. So this is one example of checkpoint. Okay. So what is a checkpoint? It is used to check the property values of the application. Let's uh, quickly uh, take an demonstration on this okay before that what is this okay so we have the properties and then we have the values. All right. Then there are different types of checkpoints. The checkpoints that we are going to learn are 
we have the text text area and then we have the standard checkpoint this is one set and then we have the page accessibility and then we have the table checkpoint and then also the database checkpoint okay so these are the different checkpoints that we are going to learn these are the types of checkpoints text checkpoint text area checkpoint and then we have the standard page accessibility and the table and then a checkpoint can also be inserted on the database let's see how to insert it so i go to this then there is a qtp over here okay and then we log in here so the qtp is opening and then we have the blank test okay see actually you know this um, checkpoint is not much used in the real time scenario it is even less than 1% that we use it okay but since you know it is one of the feature that we have in the qtp anyways we are going to discuss it here but in the real time it is you know like very very less used almost you know the usage is like zero okay so let's try to understand this one in the brief and we will not concentrate much on this because you know we will concentrate on the vb scripting okay so now for the checkpoints we got to record as usual and i will show you text text area and standard so click on the record button windows application I select the first option so the QTP is currently in the record mode then I open the flights oh sorry we have the QTP and then we have the sample application flight then I enter the agent name and then by password and I then click on OK button OK now I enter the date of flight as usual select the fly from fly to click on the flights button click on OK you can enter the name over here let's say you know we enter multiple names for example I enter Ritu then I enter Priya and um, let's say Jyoti okay Anita so I can enter multiple names over here okay this is not like visible okay multiple names I can enter no lavanya there is no requirement of any comma or anything I select the business and then insert order and then I close the application this is done I click on the close now we stop the recording and let's have a look at the recording now okay this one I do not need I'll remove it
so this first part is what open the application and then we have the login we have the flight reservation here okay fine oh okay i missed one step let me yeah come to that step again okay this one okay set is there right enter and then i go to the qtp again and then here i enter ritu then priya which is other name it is jyoti do you see now let me try to insert the checkpoint over here i'll click on this record and so that you know it is active go to the insert checkpoint and then we have a text area checkpoint okay so when we have a text area checkpoint you can select the part of this text let's say i want to only select jyoti i can select it okay any part of the text box i can select and do you see here we have the win edit name click on okay so do you see check that jyoti is displayed or not so your qtp is checking whether the correct values are getting displayed in the text box or not and then you click okay checkpoint is inserted i can also insert the another checkpoint that is the text checkpoint using which if i select it will by default select the entire row do you see it is going to record the entire row see basically you should be able to understand the difference between this the first one that is text area checkpoint it can put a checkpoint on any part of the text and then if we have the text checkpoint it is going to capture the entire text box right so this is a basic difference one can capture the entire text box and another can help you with the selective names over here then we click on okay checkpoints are introduced let me close this before that i got to stop it all right fine now our script is ready so do you see here we have the two checkpoints which are put these are nothing but one is text and another is text area checkpoint okay what happened lavanya you are not understanding see if you are not understanding that's fine okay because anyways this is not much important you don't use it in the real time but since it is one of the feature of qtp i am going to discuss it over here but if you are unable to understand i mean not able to understand okay to some extent that is fine but no problem okay i can show it again to you see here i close this application we take a new file i'm showing it from the beginning okay okay is there any problem with my screen anybody yes so many of our students have given testimonials on how our training programs are you will find them on kudzu.com and on our website h2kinfosys.com on our website h2kinfosys.com 
you will also find more detailed information on who we are, the courses that we offer, what each course covers. Also, if you are interested in a demo program, please register on our homepage on the left hand side. Just give us more information about yourself and we will send you a link for a demo class. The demo class is absolutely free. Experience our commitment by just attending an orientation workshop at no cost. Our team of faculty and advisors are here to guide you with the right information. If you still have more questions, please feel free to call us. Call us at 770-777-1269. This is a United States number. If you are calling from the UK, call us at 020-337-17615. You can also email us at training at h2kinfosys.com or h2kinfosys at gmail.com Thank you for watching our videos. We wish you a great career in information technology.